you know, one of the most sought after matches um, in uh, Division One. So we're really excited about it. Sunny Durham. It's a little crisp today, and uh, I think we're going to have a great, great, great game. Well, we got Jake Naso back in the face off against Athicus for Denver. And we are underway here at Koskinen Stadium and what we anticipate to be another great matchup between these two powerhouse programs. And Duke looking to go on offense early, but checked away, and we are underway. One thing to watch here, too, Naso back in that faceoff, been dealing with an injury, was out last game, so I'm sure Duke's glad to have him back. Yeah, you know, he's he's been their sort of core guy, and, um, you know, they, he the weather's great. You think we're actually later in the season, but we're still in February. So, you know, what they're trying to do is find that right combination, get it clicking in March, um, and then perfect, perfect it in, uh, in April. So we see Duke working it around here, looking for the first shot of this game for the Blue Devils. See on the right side, the Nenza comes back, finds the freshman, McAdory. He fires low, but it's blocked on. Tracked down that time by Dyson Williams. Finds the Nenza right in the middle, and Duke not a slow start this time. On top early, one nothing. You know, Duke, Duke as it's stated up, up front, they want to be a transition team. They want to run a lot. But you can't do that if you don't have the ball. Second offensive possession here for Denver. Turned it over last time after a couple shots. There's McKelly, talented freshman out of Maryland. A guy that I know Coach is pretty excited about. Yeah, Duke's pressing out right now, trying to make sure they're on their hands. You know, right now you're going to watch these checks. Makes it a little bit, little bit more difficult for them to move the ball. Back behind Cage, an open look that time. And it is finished, even it up for Denver. The smart thing to do. It sounds like, you know, it's pretty much what they do in the pros for, with, uh, you know, Major League Football and others. You see Joe Robertson working behind Cage. He's been very good against this Denver team in his career. He's missed the last two matchups, though. One because of injury, one because of COVID protocols last year. But he has eight goals and nine points and two meetings against this Denver team. He'll be one to watch today as well, number eight for Duke. Yeah, I mean, he pulled some amazing theatrics his freshman year when he had four goals. Um, first, first chance that time yeah. for O'Neal. He got a good look, finished. With Adler and didn't have to pay the price, but um, this is a, a judicious play. They're pulling it out. Um, they don't want to have the defense to get too tired, you know, and play too much. So pull it out, get set up, smart play. Duke working it around. O'Connor has it now. Sophomore out of Virginia. Back around to Robertson. He's got a short stick. That's what they want. He's going to spend some time trying to find an opportunity, get his hands free. Beautiful pass that time, and he finds the leading scorer on this Duke team. Dyson Williams, the junior, adds another to his total in the competition today and, and the way Duke – performed in that last game. I think this is kind of what Coach Danowski wanted to see early, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I, in, intensity is an intangible. You, you, you know, you can't teach intensity. Um, you, you know, you can't teach athleticism. There's a few things out there that, that win games for you. And um, you can have all the athleticism in the world, and if you don't have intensity, then, you know, you're, you're, you're going to wind up on the short end of the stick. So I think that that was good. This is a matchup. Again, another matchup there. Uh, it was Ledman. It's one that was extremely d dramatic as Denver got off to an 8-3 lead in that one before Duke rallied and came back. But, you know, that's just the way this, this game, this series has been, right? These two teams have just been back and forth. And it's usually been Denver that's had big leads so far in recent yeah. years. Yeah, no. I mean, in fact, you know, m most of the, the history of this rivalry has been about Duke comebacks. So, in, at least in recent years. A few games uh, back – a few years ago, played in neutral sites down in Georgia. Denver won, and it wasn't a, a comeback situation. But, yeah, that's um, there have been some heartbreakers here. That's why I think Coach uh, Tierney is looking at this is saying, let's, let's, let's end that streak. He wants, he wants a victory here today. Jack Hanna, number three, working. Gets it back around to Silstrup. He'll find a man cutting. A beautiful pass that time. Riley Curtis evens it up for the Pioneer. So, you know, I think that um, maybe mixes it up a little bit. Um, you know, because that goalie had a pretty good read on that one. Ellis Geis. 
Drops it off. Four minutes to go here in this first quarter. Been a very clean game, physical game, well played here out of the gates in front of a big crowd here at Koskinen. Mick Kelly, the freshman, working left. Good look in the middle that time for J.J. Silstrup, the junior. But he's gotten off to a really good start. Four goals in each of the first two games this season. He's got one today already, and Denver has its first lead. We'll go back on offense. Yeah, like we said, this is going to be a prize fight this game. It's going to go back and forth. Probably going to be a lot of lead changes. Um, they Both teams know that, so it's the, literally this is about composure. Um, Jack Hanna finds Silstrup. He gets hit as he fires it past Adler and Denver. In the Jacksonville game. Right. Well, Stathicus has won five of eight. Make it well, possibly six out of nine as he fights for it. But it's taken away this time by Duke who comes down with it. So we'll see Duke set up the offense, see if they can get another good look and put it past Thompson. There's a Naso. Naso quickly finds Cole Krause who gets a shot off the rebound opportunity for Dyson Williams. Is back there to start things again. Shot clock resets to 60. Watch the slide come. We're gonna move it around. See Brandon trying to spend some time on the right side, which is which is you know probably something he wanted to do a little bit more against against uh, Jacksonville. Duke's composure right now, bringing the ball around, fighting for that high opportunity shot. So Connor going left behind. It's up top to Caputo, a jab step. It's knocked away, but it goes right to O'Connor, and he uh, sends it home. Another yeah, for so that's that's something you want to see. You know, again, these coaches have seen it all. They've been in every situation. Um, and then fires that one high. That was a cannon. It sure was. 15 shots so far for Duke to 11 for Denver, and they've gotten good looks as you mentioned. 10 on goal for Duke so far. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the thing. You know, it's not like you can you're going to sit these guys down and say, you know, switch it up dramatically. Keep going, those shots will fall. And that's what Coach talked about in that loss to Jacksonville was that, you know, they had opportunities in that game. They just could not finish in spots that they, ex you know, expect them to. But that's the time that Montgomery gets in right in front of the goal, and he does finish. That's exactly what Donowski wants. I think we had many man-up opportunities against uh, – they had many man opportunities against um, Jacksonville. So right now you really just want to get a good shot, Get a score. Show that you can score a man up against these guys because you want to use this as a huge weapon throughout the game, especially if there is that face-off violation that's been called. Here, Mule, Lully. Off to Dyson Williams. couple goals today. Quick no-look pass into the middle. Was it turned away or not? Duke believes it's a goal, and it is. The goal, Yeah. Look like time. It'll be Pioneer's ball. We're wearing those crimson and gold uniforms today. And when you're talking about our discussions with Coach Danowski this week, you know, he was when he when he looks at composure, he's saying things like, you know, can you come back from a four goal run, right? Um, and Duke did answer that. Beautiful give and go that time. Alex Simmons gets behind the defense for a defense, and defenses try to frustrate an offense. And that's a, they're similar, but they're different. Midway through the second, a little bit lower scoring than that first quarter. Duke with a 2 1 advantage here in the second. Here's McAdory. It's all always fun to watch his, his speed and quickness. Yep, they're just trading off. They're trying to they're trying to get the imbalance, find that clear pass to the clear shot. Here's O'Neal. Goal. He's got a hung defender. He's working over the top. But no, didn't have much room to see there, but he didn't need it. He still found the back of the net for a second today. Great. Pushed it off. Yeah, so you're going to watch them. They're going to bring it around. Everyone's going to get a touch on the ball. And then watch number 21. He has the ball right now. You're going to watch him. When he starts moving to the crease, that's when the play is really starting. They, This is not um, this is not happenstance. Um, they actually run this play you know, ad nauseum during the week. 
um, and they know exactly where they're going to be. Lowly up top to Dyson. There's Boulay, as you mentioned. Pass to O'Neill. Do plenty of time here in this man up. There's Smule. Back to Dyson Williams down low, and he's in the back of the net once again. It's a hat trick today for for Duke's leading score. We're going to start us here at the faceoff. Duke's had a slight advantage here so far today. The dot nine of seventeen, which is a a bit of a change from last year, where Stathicus really looked good and, and dominated that matchup. Scooped up by Montgomery. Signaling to his teammates, going quickly the other way. Here, a shot right out of the gates for Robertson. We haven't seen him do much today, but he gets the scoring started for Duke. Can't expect Adler to stop those shots. Right. But it's those longer ones, 12 yards plus, that he expects Adler to do work. Yeah, and specifically, he put it on the defense. He said if there's a shot that's right on the doorstep, right, that's, that's, not, Adler's, that's not Adler's responsibility, right? Now look at that, four shots, you know, chasing it out. Duke's possession, that's a great stop. Um, exactly how they wanted to start this uh, second half. Um, Tough-minded defense right there. Tough-minded defense. Jack Hanna, that's nine shots so far today. No goals. As Montgomery goes low, and he finishes. Montgomery fired up. This Duke Blue Devil team is as well up 11-6. Can't give him that space. He's looking, uh, he's looking at the other end. That's a success. So that's how they're thinking of it right now. Their whole world is around, you know, three successful plays in a row. That one mishandled there in the middle. Stathicus goes limping off after that collision at midfield. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Their face-off specialist will head to the bench, get a little medical treatment. But Denver does get a stop. But that one a bad, bad pass taken right away by Duke that time. Duke should slow this down right now. They just had a little bit of a. Who needs a slowdown, though, David, right? <laughs> Sorry. When you're, when you're Brennan O'Neill. Give me a shovel so I can eat those words. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. So Duke again here, patient with Lully coming on. Here to Caputo, working on the left. Gets around Edinger. Drop off here, Lully up top. Look to work. That's it. Turned away, 35, still on the shot clock. A lot of guys touching the ball. Everyone's taking great care. Here comes Lolly. He bounces one in, it goes over the top of Thompson. Great shot that time, and Duke continues. Denver's looking for its first goal since early in that second. Silstrop. Working it around. Duke's pressing. Playing pretty aggressive defense. Long pass to Hannah. His best look today, but pipe. it's blocked. Off the pipe, reset. That one gets by Adler, who looks up, and we have a flag on top of it. Huh? I didn't see the flag. 13-7 now coming off the goal. That time by Silstrup, who's got a hat trick now. The Pioneers setting up the offense with the man up advantage. Maybe a pivotal time in this game. Yep. They're gonna they're gonna they, like I said, there there will be a run. You know, if you're Duke, you know that. So um, opportunities like this on man up is where those runs usually start. And you know, in transition transition. D Benedetto. Up top, it's Sullivan. A beautiful look that time. Great passing. Stillstrup adds another one. He's got four today. And Denver, two quick goals here. Oh, and kicking around 12. Right side. Nice pass across to Denenza to Williams. He goes, tries to go top shelf, but it goes over the top. Eight and a half seconds, as you said. They've got to play for it drawn up. We'll see if they can get a, a clean shot. I mean, you're going to see someone break out up top right now. And spot in the middle for Lully, and he does deliver with 2.3 seconds left in the third. And two so far today for the Pioneers. He'll have his work cut out for him here if he wants to keep them in this game. Yeah, watch McAdory. He's had a lot of close opportunities. 
They got a bunch of guys out on him right now. They're spreading it, spreading out the defense. Um, but McAdory is a guy who's when he's going to start scoring quite a bit, I think, as the season progresses. It just feels like, yeah, he's on the verge, right? Yeah, he's, his shots are like like a, a, a millisecond away from – or a, a centimeter away from going in. I don't know how O'Neal found space and an angle to put that one in the back, but he did. Oh, from that angle, it's it's incredible he's able to find room there, but he does, and uh, O'Neal settling and, in pretty and it, well. And it's changing – sorry to interrupt. It's uh, it's changing to his short hand – to his strong hand. So yep. that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big benefit for him. Hey, you could – it's Robertson right off the faceoff and Duke. I mean, they, they are feeling it right now. The Blue Devils is hard all week trying to get back in it this, uh, today, and so far so good. Yeah, it, it's an interesting thing because when you watch a lot of lacrosse like we all do, you sometimes you, you, you know, you sometimes see games where the offense is like everyone's looking for the other guy to score. It's like there's ball watching, there's all this. And they, you, know, you had a number of those things going on last week. This week, everyone wants the ball to try to score, right? Everyone's involved in all of the big plays. And so, you know, when you look at it, like even right here in the middle third of the field, that's a big, big play. Here comes Duke with numbers, wide open look in front of net. It is finished off by Jake Caputo. They're beating this goalie. They're, they're, the defense is, is giving them all the time and room they need to shoot, so keep going. Um, you know. And this Denver defense has to – Maybe start be feeling a little bit gassed after these last number of possessions. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, these guys have been playing defense the whole time right here, and most of the third quarter. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, this is the thing. Like, you know, you're. Here's Macadori. Yeah, Macadori gives that clock, that big scoreboard behind him a look to see how much time left. He's under 20 seconds. Montgomery shoots and scores again. Macadori loves it. They bump there, and you see this dude. At what time does? At what point does the defense have to start trying to force the issue a little bit? Because, as we've seen, I mean, we the offense for and the attack for the Pioneers has hasn't been around, and it seems like since you know, eight ten minutes left in the third, it feels like. Yeah, you're going to see things like you know more aggressive ten man rides. You're going to see a lot of double teamings, pushing Duke out to the the the, the edges of the perimeter of the box and even farther. Um, in order to get possession and get the ball, and that that that's gonna starting to happen now, but it's gonna be really happening around minute five, six, seven. What a shot by Dyson Williams! He came up with that off the rebound with his back turn. Again, looking to see what they can do to execute here. Just three goals since that first. You're talking about a Denver team that that stormed out of the gates and and, and looked really good early on. Grab that 5-3 lead. Well, you remember Coach Coach Tierney said one of the keys to the game is we have to stop their big boys, yeah. right? Would How would you answer that question right now? That's a beautiful goal that time by Silstrop. He has shown up today five goals. But to answer your question, yeah, I think uh, the big boys for Duke have, have come through today. Yeah. And they'll get some new blood back there. Bonafide, the, the senior, Bayshore, New York. It's a nice save his first time through, and you see – Jake Wilson, freshman there. Uh, the whistle goes against him, but this Duke has a has a great freshman class, and we've obviously seen that with McAdory, but some of these guys that haven't gotten as much time yet, we can see a little bit of them here, but this team's loaded. Yep, they are. Uh, and as is many teams now with the you know, with the with the transfer portal and all that's gone on with COVID and the expansion of the rosters, many of these teams, it's not uncommon for them to have fifty guys, fifty one, fifty two. Yeah. Right to net goes Michael Lampert, the sophomore. He gets it by Bonafidi that time. It's like to lose, guys. How do you like that? You know, and they didn't like it, and they responded this week. So um, hats off to the Devils because um, this Denver team is, is for real. They're, they're very good. They're probably going to go pretty far this year. And, um, you know, I, all I have to say is they, they, you want to see a team respond from a loss like Duke did today. Uh, time runs out here from Koskinen Stadium. The Duke Blue Devils victorious at home over Denver, 19-10, led by the big guns, Brennan O'Neill with four goals, along with Dyson Williams with four. On the Denver side, J.J. Silstrop continues his hot start to 2022.